Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this RPG Maker Envy tutorial, I'm going to continue my how to import maps uh, tutorials. So uh, the first method I showed you was the uh, copy-pasting uh, map files. Uh, this is an easier method, and I thought I would show you guys this uh, alternate, uh, alternative method. If you're not using the Steam version, you can have multiple copies of uh, RPG Maker MV running at the same time. If you are using the Steam version, unless there's some way around it, I'm sure there is, but uh, you're only able to have one instance of the application open at one time. So you'll have to do some opening and closing of your project. So what we're going to do here is I just imported this, uh, this uh, map from Noob, uh, Noob KX. And uh, I'm going to continue to import the maps he just sent me. Awesome maps, by the way, Noob KX. I really like them. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to save our project. We're going to open up the project that we want to take the maps from. So let's just find where they're at. Open up that game project. We're going to right click and uh, copy the, the map we want to take. We're going to open up the project we want to move it to. And then we're going to right click and paste where we want it to go. There it is. If uh, they're using a different tile set, you may have to go into that game's uh, tile sets, not the plugins, go into that game's tile sets and, you know, right click and copy the tile sets and then paste them into your tile sets. Uh, I have all the tile sets that are being used, so we'll have to do that. But once we've saved our project, we can uh, open up and repeat that process. And there we have it. Thank you very much, Noob KX, for these really, really cool maps. It's gonna, it's gonna help uh, this game get completed much faster for everybody to download and enjoy. So if you guys like this video, please like, favorite, share, and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you in the next tutorial.